Hey everyone, Tammy Gavea with AfterBuzz, and we are here with Jacob Bertrand, who plays, you know, a split personality. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess it could definitely be summed up as that. Uh, my character definitely has a crazy 180 <laughs> that is so much fun to play. I have to think that Eli slash Hawk has the most transformative storyline. Yeah, I would definitely agree. It was so much fun getting to play that total 180. Uh, when I first read for the role, uh, I didn't know that there was a Hawk. I thought it was only like, you know, Eli. And then in the role, I'm reading the sides and I'm like, oh, you have the wrong script. Like, here, just take the script. And so it ended up being Hawk. And I was like, whoa, like this dude is freaking sick, you know? Uh, it was really cool just getting to play the different 180 and sort of like explore that a little bit. When you left the dojo and then you came back as Hawk, I freaked out. <laughs> I didn't recognize you. And then I a saw... A lot of people didn't, yeah. Yeah. I freaked out and then I was so excited. <laughs> I think that was uh, the writers... Uh, I had my regular hair for a while and then when it finally got cut and dyed, they came into hair and makeup and they were just like, yes, this is perfect. This is exactly what we envisioned. They were so stoked. So I'm glad it turned out well. I mean, people are loving it, so it's great. What can we expect from Hawk in season two? Ooh, well, season two Hawk, as people might already know, has a red mohawk, and with that comes, again, a hair change is a little bit more of a personality change. Uh, Crease is in the dojo, Crease is back, so, you know, there's some influences there, but, um, yeah, it, it should be very interesting to see uh, what happens to Hawk. And, I mean, all the characters go through a very interesting arc this season. So excited. Congratulations on everything. Thank you so much. Yeah, have a good one.